this is something that we've gone over in our special equilibria video before, but it's worth reiterating because it relates very much to acid-base chemistry, and it's something that shows up a lot in your exams. This is the generic way of depicting a protic acid dissociating. So it goes from something with the proton attached to the rest of the acid. When you put that in water, it creates a hydronium ion, H3O+, and A-, which is its conjugate base. Notice that it picks up two electrons as it donates that proton, just in case you want to resolve the Lewis definitions with other definitions like Arrhenius or Bronsted. When you draw something like this, you can now draw an equilibrium constant Ka, which is the acid dissociation constant. And what that does is it puts the two products up here in the numerator and the reactant that is aqueous and not a pure liquid that goes in the denominator here. So the Ka is represented as H3O plus, its equilibrium concentration of that, times A minus, so the equilibrium concentration of the conjugate base, divided by how much of the original acid you had at equilibrium. So that's Ka. And a strong acid is one whose equilibrium involves a lot of protons or hydronium ions being created and a lot fewer of the acids remaining in their protonated condition. And so something with a high Ka means that at equilibrium it's good at producing hydronium ions and conjugate bases and it uses up a lot of its protonated form in order to do that. So it has fewer of the reactants and a lot more of the products. So a high Ka is one way that you can measure whether an acid is strong or not. To get from Ka to pKa, you simply take the negative log of Ka. And the general rule is whenever you have a P of anything, if that number is low, then that's a strong member of that species. So a high Ka is a strong acid, and a low pKa is also a strong acid. For general chemistry, we can make an assumption that if something is considered a strong acid in general chemistry, then what we assume is that every single one of these molecules that we put in are going to dissociate completely. So if we were to put a mole of some strong acid into an aqueous environment, that would produce one mole of protons or one mole of hydronium ions because we can assume complete dissociation with any of the general chemistry strong acids. So this simplifies your calculations a lot because if it's considered one of the strong acids, you can assume that the number of molecules you put in is the number of protons that you end up with and it completely dissociates. Now there is a list of strong acids to be aware of, but for the MCAT, there are a lot of lists to be aware of. There are strong nucleophiles, there are oxidizing and reducing agents, and there are many things to consider. So rather than just giving you a list to memorize, we've come up with a mnemonic, Clubrisono, which you can use to remember the list of all of the general chemistry acids that you can consider strong acids and which you can assume dissociate completely. Clubrisono essentially represents all the things that are paired with hydrogen. So you have HCl, hydrochloric acid, and then these two O's are ClO species. So you have chloric acid, HClO3, and perchloric acid, HClO4. Those are the Cl, the ClO, and the Cl other O. You have HBr, which is hydrobromic acid, HI, hydroiodic acid, H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, and for which the first proton is strongly acidic. You can assume with H2SO4 that that first proton of each of these molecules will be dissociated and will be released into the solution. And finally, nitric acid. And nitric acid is HNO3, and that dissociates completely as well. So this is your list of strong acids to know for general chemistry. And this is one that if you're taking the MCAT, for example, and they mention something like chloric acid or hydrobromic acid, you will be expected to recognize that this is something that will dissociate completely because it is a very, very strong acid. So that's your list.
clu brisono, and all of these letters here represent things that are paired with hydrogen in order to produce that.